Good morning and welcome to day 36 of the Serving Challenge here at Ascension Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Scott and I'm coming to you on this Tuesday morning from the vestry here at church. The vestry is the room where um, I come to get my, my all, my robe on before worship every Sunday where the assisting minister and the, the acolytes do the same. It's um, a place where we vest, meaning we put on our vestments, our our robe and and uh, stoles and, and get ready to head out to worship. And over my shoulder here, you may be seeing double, uh, two of me, uh, is is a mirror. This, this mirror was actually made for me as a gift from one of the members of the church where I did my internship um, in Oak Lawn, Illinois, just south of Chicago, actually immediately south of Chicago, a, a, a South Chicago suburb. Um, and so it's hung, it hung in my study when I served church in Connecticut, and, and here it hangs in, in the vestry so that I can use it when I'm trying to straighten my, my collar and uh, get ready for worship on a Sunday morning. Um, and why stand in front of a mirror? Because today's um, challenge is about the unselfie. The unselfie challenge, Pastor Zach talks about um, this selfie culture that we live in. And I don't, occasionally, I would say less than 10 times, I've taken a selfie, never alone, um, sometimes with my wife at her request and sometimes for a group. Um, and because my arms are longer than most, I've been the one challenged to hold out the camera or the camera, the phone, which is also has a camera on it. Better than the cameras we used to actually buy. Anyway, um, but I am not a selfie taker. I understand the desire to take a selfie so you can see yourself in the picture with other things behind you as a reminder, but we used to just take pictures of the thing and say, remember I was there. The point being, the point being that we take selfies to include ourselves in the picture because we have begun to see ourselves as indisposable or that we should be what the focus is when in actuality, sometimes it's not about us. Why wouldn't we want to take a picture of the beautiful scenery without ourselves superimposed on it? Why wouldn't we want to see all of the Statue of Liberty or um, that beautiful mountain? Um, as opposed to having ourselves in it. Yes, I mean, back in the day, somebody, you'd hand somebody your camera, they'd take a picture of you in front of it, of course. Yes, you want to be able to show, look, here we were when we were there. But there is something about inserting ourselves into the story all the time that we might be seen. And so today, Pastor Zach challenges us uh, to be like John the Baptist, who understood his role in the ministry, that he was to prepare the way of Jesus and then get out of the way. Um, as he says in John chapter 3, that he would decrease in order that Jesus might increase, that he would literally become smaller so that Jesus could fill up the page and the world. And John in John the Baptist in the, in the Gospel of John ends up then fading off, fading out of the, out of the scene so that <clears throat> the scene, we don't get confused. We understand it's Jesus who should be our focus. In our serving, that should be the same as well. It shouldn't be about us, but it should be for the glory of God. I talked about that a little bit yesterday in the, in the idea that we become losers um, to serve like Jesus. We also need to not make it all about us. Not make it all about us, but make it about serving the person that we've been called to serve and uh, doing so for the glory of God. So... If you're like me, maybe it's no challenge to refrain from taking a selfie because you wouldn't have taken them anyway. But I at least invite you to reflect upon, reflect upon what the challenge, what that challenge is intended to do for each and every one of us. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, a Wednesday, the halfway point of the week, when we always used to have our hump day hallelujahs, and maybe next week we'll have one if you're lucky. Um, and uh, for day 36 of the challenge. Take care.